Viva La Vida, one of the highlights of Coldplay's London shows which finished last night. The massive O2 gigs were warm-ups for a world tour which will make Chris Martin and co. one of the biggest live acts of 2009. So if next year's going to belong to Coldplay, let's take a look back at the acts which dominated the big venues in 08. OK, get ready, Stat fans. For Madonna's eighth tour, the Queen of Pop took in 58 concerts across three continents. She rehearsed for almost 700 hours, and the tour entourage numbered 250 people. Yes, it was a big one off the back of the Hard Candy album and featured cameos from musical royalty like Pharrell and Kanye West. I've been running around, always looking down. This is one of the tunes that took Kings of Leon to the status of stadium fillers. A string of headlining slots at summer festivals moved into a massive US and UK tour. Halfway through that, the Tennessee foursome released only by the night. The album debuted at number one in the UK. You know that I can use somebody. If you judge your tour domination by money made, then this lot were the champs this year. Bon Jovi raked in more than $200 million from the Lost Highway Tour, but the White Toothed Wonders certainly put the hours in. By July, they'd played 99 dates, with a grand opening of London's O2 starting the ball rolling in Europe late in 07. And last up, a face who turned up rather unexpectedly on the touring circuit this year, Leonard Cohen's financial loss became the world's gain after his manager allegedly left him out of pocket and forced him to hit the road again. It's created lots of new fans and spawned yet another cover of his 84 classic Alleluia, which Alexandra Burke's covering after taking the X Factor crown. Back in March, Cohen Mania even led to Jeff Buckley's version of the song hitting not the fourth or the fifth, but the top spot on the iTunes chart. <laughs> 